Hello, my name is Kristen Flowers. I am an N2 student at College of the Desert. Um, today I'm going to be going through iHuman and just show some of the tips and tricks that I've learned since trying to do these simulations online. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit challenging for all of us to get through from the beginning, but we're hoping that with these little tips and tricks that we've learned along the way, just doing these simulations in the last week, uh, that we'll be able to help some other people out. Um, I will say that I'm not the best with technology, so I apologize for any breaks in the clip. I'm going to do my best to clip it together so that it all makes sense. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is me logged into iHuman. Um, this is a case that I've already done, so it's going to be more of a review process than anything. Um, but I'll go through each task and show you kind of what I did for this case. So um, the first page, you can see the name, um, how old they are, the weight. Um, this one's a baby, so it's a little bit different than the adult, obviously. Um, but we will open it and go through it. Um, so our first page is the EHR. Um, this is going to give you any information that you can review that's already been done by other providers. Um, in this case, they have different orders, medications that they're taking, allergies, um, history that you should be aware of. And on all these different um, sections, you're going to be taking all your notes on the left-hand side. So for the EHR, you really want to look at important information that you should be drawing from that and take notes on the left-hand side. When you go to the next screen and you try to get through to the next part of the assessment piece, um, it's going to ask you various questions on what was actually in that EHR and it will give you other things that weren't in there to try and see if you actually read through it. Um, so make sure you're paying attention and going through every uh, piece of these on this list that you can um, and making sure that you're really paying attention to what's in them. The next piece is going to be the history section. Um, so in this case, you have the patient and the mom that you can ask questions to. Um, obviously, if we have an adult patient, we're just gonna be asking the patient themselves. Um, an important thing that you should realize here is that you are going to come in and introduce yourself just like you would in the hospital. So don't forget the questions um, that pertain to introducing yourself, telling the person that you're going to wash your hands, um, telling them what you're here for, asking their name and date of birth, asking if they have any allergies. Um, those aren't things that we're skipping out on and it's a semi-focused history, but also you want to dive into the issues that they're presenting with as well as much as you can. Um, it'll also go into pain questions and overall systems questions. So if you want to look at if they're having respiratory problems or heart problems or skin and nails, this kind of goes through the whole physical um, questioning piece. Um, like I said, up here, you can ask the mom or the baby when presented with pediatric patients. Another thing on this section that I've noticed is if you ask something that is supposed to be asked, um, hi, I'm your nurse, I'm going to be taking care of you today, um, it'll give you a good question up here in green. So you can kind of track what you're getting right and what you're getting wrong based on that feedback that they're giving you. Um, another piece of this is they'll give you five hints down at the bottom by this show feedback. Um, you only get five, so once those are gone, they're gone, but you can use those and it'll tell you how many questions you have left to ask in every single section. Um, also for every piece that we're looking at, whether it be EHR, history, physical, as you move along, all of your notes are going to be taken in the left hand side so when you get a response make sure you're taking notes on that response and that it doesn't just get asked and then negated um, so i'll go ahead and move to physical um, as you can see here they have pulses marked um, i keep these marked during the physical assessment because it just makes it a little bit easier um, as you can see they're going to want you to take pulse and respirations if i turn my volume on you can hear the patient breathing so you're going to be looking at the clock doing your respirations just like you normally would 
um, if you hover and click on these, it'll also give you a pulse. Um, so you're going to be listening to those as well. Um, one thing I noticed is if you go to take the blood pressure, you actually have to take it yourself. I know that this can be a little bit confusing, but you actually have to pump it up, pumping this back piece um, as much as you would want to go. And then just like in the hospital, you'd let it out using this piece over here. And then it'll give you the sound for that as well as the air lets out. Um, so you can listen to the sound and you can also watch to see where it's going as well. Another important piece for this physical part is that it's not going to let you do something that you don't click on. So to listen to the heart, you actually have to go down to the section where it says also to your heart and it'll give you those pieces. Uh, make sure you're listening in the correct order and taking notes properly because it will ding you if you're not doing that correctly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward. The next piece uh, is going to be analyze. So in this piece, you're first um, going through everything that was found wrong from your physical assessment and your history. Um, everything that is an issue that we have to look at. Um, basically, you're going to be deciding if it's acute, um, meaning that they have a rapid onset. If it's something worsening, so if they came in and it's getting worse, then you would note worsening. Uh, if there's no change, it means they're just ongoing, they're staying the same. Um, resolving, it's something that you've done, you've looked at, and now it's getting better. Um, resolved, meaning that it's no longer an issue anymore. Um, in this piece, you'll also look at client problems. Um, so you're gonna look at, of those things that are acute, what uh, category are they falling into? Um, for these, you can see that they fell majority into activity, fluids and electrolytes, GI, and nutrition. Um, so you kind of have to think about these a lot. Um, some of them can overlap, so you have to find really the baseline of what problem this is coming from. What's the major problem going on? And then the last piece is you're going to prioritize the problem. Um, it'll give you a list and then you want to figure out what are the top two priorities that you want to look at and do your actions based on. So then we move to actions. Um, for actions, I would say the most important piece about this is to figure out which piece fits under which um, problem that's going on. Um, so you really want to pay attention during this because this is your most complicated area, I would say. Um, even if you put something under a different category and it was the correct action, but it was under the wrong uh, description of what's going on or the problem, um, you're going to get that wrong. So make sure you really pay attention to what you're putting it under. And then it'll also have you prioritize like we did before. Um, in this situation, you're going to prioritize as stat, it needs to be done right away, urgent, it needs to be done within two hours, or it's just routine, it needs to be done before your sh end of your shift. Um, it's going to have you do a nurse's note. This one um, is a little bit more detailed just based on what you went through the whole uh, process, so you can add your suggestions, you can add your physical findings, you can add your history findings, kind of whatever you feel is necessary to sum up what happened. And then on the next page, it's just going to give you a summary. Um, it'll give you the summary of the whole case and what we did and what went wrong and all the teaching and discharge things that you will have to do. From there, you can just see, click see evaluation. Um, and it'll show you basically how you did from a baseline and give you your scores. Um, so I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment on this video and I can try to answer them as best that I can. Thank you.